Time now to get you caught up on the global headlines we're following on this Wednesday morning here in Seoul. For that, we turn it over to our Eunice Kim standing by the news centre with the developments for us. Good morning, Eunice. Good morning to you, Mark. We'll begin with developments in the worldwide stride toward creating a vaccine to stop the spread of Ebola. The World Health Organization says a serum containing the antibodies from the blood of Ebola survivors could be sent within weeks to Liberia. That's according to the group's assistant director general for health system and innovation, Dr. Marie Paul Keeney, who said the treatment was not without risks and would come with strict guidelines. Similar treatments were used in Western countries, most recently in the Spanish nursing assistant, ultimately cleared of the disease. Dr. Keeney also said work on a vaccine was advancing quickly to get drugs to West Africa by January of next year. She said two experiments drugs are due to be tested on humans in the coming weeks and hopes to produce initial results by the end of the year. This as in the United States. The country will require all air travelers coming from Liberia, Sierra Leone and Guinea to be examined at one of five major airports already conducting enhanced screening, stopping short of a travel ban that some local lawmakers have been demanding.